Okay, so I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I thought that today I would do a car tour. Um, obviously, you guys know that I have my own car, and I am in London, so there might be a few people around that might watch me filming myself, but I don't really mind. Um, yeah, so I have my own car. It is a Kia Picanto 2014, so it is secondhand. It had one previous owner. Um, this particular car has five doors, so it has two in the front, two in the back, and then my... Um, boot which also counts as a door I know I never knew that either um, so let me just pull up some information so my car is a manual car so I use gears like one two three four five it has either a 1.0 or a 1.2 engine I'm not a hundred percent sure on that um, it's a petrol car and I got it second hand for around about four thousand six hundred um, or almost five thousand pounds my insurance was almost £2,000, this was with a black box, uh, so yeah, it's quite expensive, but I mean, I do live in like central London, so that's kind of what I was expected to pay. I put down a deposit of £350, which meant that I only had to pay £181.67 a month roughly. Because um, my car is like eco-friendly, I only had to um, pay £60 for my parking permit, which is normally £120 because um, it's got like a certain amount of emissions and then for tax I didn't have to pay any tax uh, when I first got my car it had 20,000 miles which is pretty good for a second hand car and also I had a black box put in so let me show you the inside of the car um, what it looks like it's a bit dirty in here so <laughs> please excuse that um, but I will uh, try and show you the best that I can Okay, so this is what you get if you are sitting in the driver's seat. I obviously have to put my seat um, right forward because I'm quite small. So we'll start from the right. So you have the two buttons for the electric windows. I only have electric windows in the two front. Um, and then I have my lock and to open the door. My car does lock automatically when I start driving. You then have a kind of like a thing where you can put stuff here. I just keep hairbands just because I get annoyed sometimes if my hair's down when I'm driving. And then down here you have another compartment where you can put drinks and things like that. Down here you have the clutch, the brake and the um, accelerator. You then have this um, lever here which you pull which opens the front of the car and then if you come down here you have another lever here which you pull to open the petrol tank so then on the side here you have um kind of like the strength of your lights i think that's what it is i'm not completely sure I'm not sure what this is it doesn't oh it does i'm not really sure what that is <laughs> then you have one um air vent i have my car mount which is from amazon um and my wi uh, wing mirror I can't do these automatically, I have to do them manually, so I just use this device here and it changes kind of where they are. You then have my, I'm going to turn the car on so you can see. Uh, you then have my dashboard, so this is my dashboard. Um, and then on this side I have the RPMs. And then I have all these signs, so if my water's low, my battery for example. And then this is kind of how fast I'm going. Um, how much how many miles i have left in my tank and then how many miles i've done and then on the right is kind of like my petrol so i almost have a full tank you then have my steering wheel so this one is like a full round steering wheel um and it has the horn here and obviously the airbag on the right hand side you have this indicator so this is for your um window cleaners so if you want to go up you turn the front ones on and then you twist this to turn the back ones on. You pull this towards you to release the water. And then on the left hand side I have my lights. So if it's at zero it means there's no lights on. This one is um, half beam and this one's full beam. And then if I want to put my um, fog lights on I pull it towards me. And then um, the light, well when I turn the lights on it will appear on here. And when it goes blue it means my fog lights are on. Moving across here, you have two air vents again, so I can just um, position them to come towards me when I'm driving, or down or up, whichever you want to do. And then down here, I have where I want the air to go, so if I want it to go straight towards me, down, um, or like through, this is kind of like if I want the air to go from 
the top I guess or like straight through to the car this is how strong I want um, the air conditioning to work or the heaters so obviously one being minimal and four being really high and then this is like obviously the temperature of the air conditioners you then have the airbags so it tells you if the airbag is um, on or off with these lights and then this one I use when I'm driving and it's foggy and I put this on it and it will basically clear all the steam here this is my like radio station so I have let me put this on okay so I have radio so I can do one two th I can like program it um, I mainly listen to capital scan is I think for like Bluetooth and stuff not sure what that is that's to change the clock um, time and this I'm not sure either um, and then over here you have obviously FM and AM depending on what radio station you want to use media is for my CD and not sure what that is um, this is to change the song up or down and then this is where you put your um, CD not sure what that is and this is obviously your hazard lights moving over here you have my um, glove box that's the word uh, which is full of loads of rubbish so basically i just have sweets in here i have a charger um this is my log book and book for the car just some perfume in case i need it i have a paper and a pen just in case i need to write any information down and then i have extra cds so that's basically all the stuff that's in there it's a pretty good size um you can fit quite a lot in there so just bear that in mind if you guys want to buy this car Coming down here, you have two cup holders, uh, which hold reasonably sized cups. A bit more space here if you want to put some other stuff in. And then you have a cigarette light thing that you can put, obviously, a phone charger or a Bluetooth thing. In the middle, you've got the gear. So this goes up to five, and then you've got reverse. It's quite easy to maneuver. Um, and then you have the handbrake. And then other compartments here. So there's quite a lot, lot of space in this car, even though it's quite small. On the other side, it's exactly the same. You have one um, holder here that you can put stuff in, and then one down the side here. This is what the back looks like. So I have technically three seats, which I really like. I have one here, one in the middle, and one here. So there's a lot of space. Um, so let me show you the back. Okay, so this is what it looks like if you're sitting in the back. I have mats um, down on the back and in the front as well. Um, these ones have uh, manual windows just because it's the way they are. But they also have a hole here that you can put stuff in. And this is the chair like um, at its normal um, position. So there's still quite a lot of space. And then this is it if you are like, you've got long legs and you're driving. There's still quite a lot of space here um, for someone to sit behind them. So that is kind of the back seat i went for a black car obviously in the interior is like kind of like a dark gray um so it kind of matches the car which i really like so yeah i'm gonna show you the boot now and kind of show you how big it is and what you can fit in the boot um and then i will show you kind of like underneath the roof um of the car so you kind of know where stuff is okay so this is the boot i'm trying not to show you my <laughs> registration number um so i have this is just uh, basically it's like an air compressor so if my tyre um, needs pumping up and I'm on a roadside I can use this uh, this is just a bag full of stuff like cleaning stuff <laughs> and then just a pillow for comfort in case anyone wants a pillow underneath here you can put your spare um, wheel so it just goes underneath there but I mean it's quite a large um, boot you can fit a medium sized suitcase in because I've tried that before and this you can remove as well so it gives you more space you can also take these seats down as well to give you a lot more space so for this particular car the petrol cap is on the left hand side um, of the car so just um, take that into consideration if you are thinking of buying the car okay so this is what the engine looks like so you have the engine here um, this is where you put the window washer in here uh, this is where the coolant goes you have the oil here and then the water goes here so over here is where the battery is um, and then on top of the battery this small square thing here is my black box so some things I forgot to mention is obviously you have your uh, mirror here and then you have the lights here so you can have it on or off um, on each side of the front passenger seat you have mirrors um, and then also one thing that you should know is in the driver's door on the side 
you basically have all of the um, uh, tire tire measurements that you need if you need to fill up the tire with air. So that's kind of one thing to know because when I first got the car, I didn't know where they were. Obviously, you can look in the book. Um, but if the car doesn't have a book, that's something you would need to know. Um, yeah. So I mean, I hope you got like that, guys. I've never done anything like that before, but I thought I'd do it today because I've been wanting to do it for a long time, and I know lots of people enjoy them, and I I watch them a lot as well because <laughs> I'm quite nosy in that sense. I like seeing what other cars look like, so I thought I'd do mine because mine's quite a good car for like starters um for like people that have never driven before and also people that can't afford really big uh, nice cars so it's, it's a really good size i love driving it. it's so easy to drive and i am thinking about doing a few drive with me's in the future but i need to get like a tripod first because i can't leave you on the dashboard because it will fall off so that's what i'm gonna do